Hey, what's up? This is a little bit of an update on what's new in Songbringers. Awesome is new version. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is the beta update on Steam. The biggest feature is the teleportation options. You can you have now the option of teleporting to a lot of different places as long as you've been to one of these places before. You have the option of going there. For now, it's just a textual menu. Um, I kind of like it this way with the, the uh, coordinates and the just short description of where you're going to. Uh, but I might make this a UI, like a, a full-blown visual UI, but I wanted to prototype this, see how it plays, see how it feels, be able to warp different places. So yeah, you can choose to go back to the song rear as you used to all the time, or you can teleport to all the other places. You can go back to your last location, back to the home crash site, all these different courage refills. So I'm going to go back to here because I'm going to show some off some other new stuff here in the fire dungeon. Um, Let's see, do I have Shagrax tier? No, good. Okay, cool. So, um, the fire dungeon, um, last week, uh, you got, um, Shadrax tier, which protects you from ambient heat damage. You got that in the, the previous dungeon before this one, so, um, you never really noticed that you were taking heat damage because you already had the fire armor. So now, it's a lot more interesting that you have to find the fire uh, armor within dungeon wherever it is i'm just using some neat to see if i can find it uh, so it creates, a, it creates a quite an interesting challenge um, and it also um uh what else it's just basically it's a different flavor a different unique feeling to this because there's this this different mechanic once again i'm, I'm running around using a bug when i get to you to go fast and stuff but anyways um yeah so there's that um Else. There's a lot of other new stuff. Let me just look at my list real quick. I'll put this up here so you can see it. Uh, yeah, we're talking about the teleport cube, Shadrax tier. Oh, the biodetectors. The biodetectors, when you use them, um, it now shows you where. I've already explored this entire dungeon here, so you can already see. But if I. Um, see if I have actually beat this switch room yet. Um, basically, when you use the biodetector, first of all, it shows you where the switch room is. So it looks like that is the switch room straight up from here. And then, after you beat the switch room, it will actually reveal the boss room. So, the biodetectors are a lot more useful um, in the dungeons. Before, they weren't quite as useful in the dungeons. They weren't as desirable to be used in the dungeons. So that's pretty interesting. Um, what else? Let's... Let's take a look at some of these other ones. Oh yeah, the shadows are a lot look better looking all, and they, there's greatly improved performance too for the shadows, so there should be a lot less uh, CPU fans, GPU fans going off playing software now. This is, this is pretty awesome. Um, let's take a look at some other things. Um, yep. Oh yeah, there's now three biodetectors where you can purchase two and three scanner drones from the stores in the overworld. So if you happen to be lost, um, you haven't maybe beat dungeon one or two or three or something, you can buy a biodetector or some scanner drones some more um, and find your way. So that's pretty cool. Uh, there's more secrets, a lot of different just like simple improvements. And then a whole lot of bug, uh, bug fixes too, so... Oh yeah, and also, the Xbox One controller works now to be automatically bound, so that's all good. And also I added a, a whole bunch of automatic bindings for Linux, so Xbox controller works on Linux, Xbox One controller automatically binds on Linux as well, the PlayStation controller automatically binds, you never, you just basically, you just play it, and you never have to make any bindings or mappings for your controls, it's just automatic. So. Um, yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, this is version 0.8.6c. Um, and then, yeah, what's up for next week? Next week's gonna be the ice dungeon, I'm thinking. So I'll start working on the ice dungeon. And it's kind of the end. So yes, I think I'm gonna do five different elemental type dungeons. So there'll be an acid dungeon, there'll be a deer dungeon, there'll be a light dungeon as well. And then, yep. There's also another kind of big old dungeon I'm not even going to say right now, it's a surprise, so that's it. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have fun playing it.